Good day everyone! Today we're going to solve another problem in Chapter 2, Principles of Hydrostatics. So in this video, we're going to solve this problem. A differential manometer shown is measuring the difference in pressure to water pipes. The indicating liquid is mercury, specific gravity is equal to 13.6, Height 1 is 675mm, Height M1 is 225mm, and Height M2 is 300mm. What is the pressure difference between the two pipes? So first, we must identify our given. So as indicated here, we have the specific gravity of a mercury which is equal to 13.6, Height 1 which is equal to 675mm, Height M1 which is equal to 225mm, Height M2 is equal to 300 mm. So since we're going to determine the pressure difference between the two pipes, we can use the formula of pressure head which is equal to pressure all over specific weight. So let's make an assumption that if it is going downward, it is positive. If it is going upward, it is negative. Before we proceed in solving our solutions, since our given is in millimeter, we should convert it to meter. So, height 1, which is equal to 675 millimeter, converted to meter is equal to 0 0.675 meter. Height M1, converted to meter, is equal to 0 0.225 meter. Height M2, converted to meter, is equal to 0 0.3 meter. After converting our given to meter, we can now proceed in identifying our equation based from the given figure. So let's assume that this pipe is our pipe A and this one is our pipe B. So as we start from A all the way to B, HM1 is going downward so it is positive. H1 is also going downward so it is also positive. And this one and this one has the same height and the same type of fluid and also experiencing the same level of pressure, we can cancel it based on Pascal law. As we continue, HM2 is going upward all the way to B, so it is negative. Since we are using the formula of pressure head, which is equal to pressure all over specific weight, we now have the solution or equation pressure A all over specific weight is equal to height M1 times the specific gravity of mercury plus H1 minus HM2 times Specific gravity of mercury is equal to pressure B all over specific weight. And substituting our given to our equation, we now have pressure A all over specific weight plus 0 0.225 meter times 13.6 plus 0 0.675 meter minus 0 0.3 times 13.6 is equal to pressure B all over specific weight. So, by combining like terms, we can transpose this one to the left and this one to right. So we now have pressure A all over specific weight minus pressure B all over specific weight is equals to negative 0 0.225 meter times 13.6 minus 0 0.675 meter plus 0 0.3 meter times 13.6 is equals to 0 0.345 meter. So we have the common denominator here, so we can combine this as one term. So it will become PA or pressure A minus pressure B all over specific weight is equals to 0 0.345. So, this is the total pressure head from A to B in terms of meters. So, multiplying both sides by specific weight 
is equals to PA minus PB is equals to 345 times 9.81 kN per meter cube. Since specific weight is equals to PG and pressure of water is equals to 1000 kg per meter cube times the gravity of 9.81. So, uh, converting it to kilonewton, it will become 9.81 kilonewton per meter cube. So, PA minus PB is equal to 3.38445 kilonewton meter squared. Since kilonewton per meter squared is equal to kilopascal, so our pressure difference between the two pipes is equal to 3.38 kilopascal.